very often, when we think about a relationship between two variables, it's helpful to not think of the variables as being equal to one another. It's helpful to think of one variable as depending on the other. And very often, this dependency comes from real life. For example, suppose I told you that the amount of gas left in a person's gas tank is related to the distance driven by this equation. G is 23 minus a 15th D, where G is the amount of gas and D is the distance we've driven. It's natural to think about the amount of gas left depending on the distance driven. Why? Well, because typically when we're using our car, what do we do? We decide how far to drive, and then based on how far we drove, we observe how much gas we used. So sometimes there's a very natural way of deciding which variable depends on the other. In some examples, it's not quite so obvious. Suppose that a student is dividing up her free time between playing video games and studying. She has three hours of free time, so this is modeled by the equation v plus s equals three, where v is the time playing video games and s is the time studying. Now, there's no obvious choice of which value depends on the other. But we can arbitrarily decide that the time playing video games will depend on the time studying. That is, she will choose how long to spend studying, then observe how much time she has left for video games. So the key idea here is that when we say that one variable depends on another, we're saying we're going to choose the value of a, one of the variables and then observe what the other variable has to be. The variable whose value we're going to choose is called the independent variable. It doesn't depend on anything. The variable whose value we observe is called the dependent variable. It depends on the independent variable. Again, sometimes when we have a real problem, it's obvious which variable ought to be independent. Sometimes we'll arbitrarily choose which variable is independent. If we just have a random equation that we meet in the wild, we'll probably be told which variable is independent if it matters. One thing to keep in mind, if we're just calling our variables x and y, the one we call x should be the independent variable, and the one we call y should be the dependent variable. Uh, that's just the traditional arrangement of x and y. x is independent, y is dependent. Obviously, that doesn't apply in either of the examples we saw here, where we gave our variables names that illustrate what they represent. One other thing to note regarding independent and dependent variables and applications. If one of the variables is time, time is almost always the independent variable. That is, almost always we choose how much time to let pass and observe what happens in that amount of time. 